All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about Boolean. So Boolean values. In programming, you often need to know if an expression is true or false. You can evaluate any expression in Python and get one of two answers, true or false. When you compare two values, the expression is evaluated and Python returns the Boolean answer. So now let's head over to Anaconda and let's learn more about Boolean values. All right, so let's jump into Jupyter Notebook. And we'll run that command again. And then we'll grab the notebook here. We'll go to desktop, we'll go to Python basics, and we're gonna do new Python 3 notebook. Okay, and I'm gonna type in 06 booleans, okay. All right, so let's run the first example here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a couple examples. Okay, so we're going to print 10 is greater than 9. And we'll see what that returns. We're going to print 10 is equal to nine and then we're going to print 10 is less than nine and we'll go with space here and then let's run that and see what it says so the first statement is true 10 is greater than nine uh, the second statement is not true 10 is not equal to or less than nine and the third statement 10 is not less than nine it's greater than nine. That's why it was true. Okay, so that's one example of running Boolean values. Okay, the next example would be when you run a condition in, a, in an if statement, Python returns true or false. So we're going to learn about an if statement right now. And we're going to integrate that with a Boolean. Okay, so let's do A equals... 300 and B equals 44. Okay, so we're going to do an if else statement. So if B is greater than A, print B is greater than A. Okay, else print B is not greater than A. Okay, so let's run that and see what it says. B is not greater than A. Okay, because 44 is not greater than 300. Okay, so that's how you can implement or run a condition to get Python to return a Boolean statement, okay? And, or Boolean values, okay? You can give it those values and then let it run the function, actually the if else statement, and it will return if it's true or false. So you'll know. So if you're wondering, is 300 greater than, or is 44 greater than 300? Let's say you don't know. You could run an if else statement and Python will tell you if it is or not. Now we're going to evaluate values and variables. So the bool function allows you to evaluate any value and give you a true or false in return. So let's print that here. So what we're going to do is we're going to print bool, which is boolean, and then we're going to give it a string of hello. Okay, then we're going to print boolean or bool and we're going to do 30. And now we're going to run this and see if it's true. And it's true and true. Okay. So that's another way to test it is running by evaluating or evaluate values and variables. Okay. Um, now, most values are true. So almost any value is evaluated to true 
if it has some sort of content. Any string is true except empty strings. Any number is true except zero. Any list, duple, set, dictionary are true except empty ones. So an example of that would be this. Okay, if we print, let me click inside there. Okay, so if I print, print, and I do bool for boolean, and we do a string of J E S. Okay. And then I do a print boolean of one, two, three, and then print boolean of, and we add a bracket here. Not curly brace, but just a bracket. Okay, like that. And then we put in quotes, windows, Mac OS, and Linux, all lowercase. Okay, and then I run that. Now we're gonna know if these are true or false. So let's try that. So we get true, true, true. Now, the point of that is, is that it's exactly what I just said. Almost any value is evaluated to true if it has some sort of content. So if I run a string, okay, so let's do, let's try to make it return a false statement. So let's do bool, and then let's have a little fun with this. So let's do an empty string, okay? Now let's run it and see if we get a false. We do, okay. Now, to get a number to be false, what do we do? We're gonna return zero. Okay, and to return zero for list, tuple, set, or dictionary, all we need to do is do bool, and then with the bracket here, put a bracket in there, okay, return it as zero. So we should get three falses, and we do. So we have true, 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 these three are true, and then false, false, false right here. So you see, the only way to get falses with this is to give it no content. If there's content, it will return true, okay? If not, it won't return true, and then you're okay. So there you go. So the last thing I wanna talk about is functions can return a Boolean. So you can create functions that return a Boolean value, okay? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I haven't covered functions, I know, so we're learning something new here, but we're just introducing you to it. So don't be afraid or worried. Functions are a lot of fun. So we're gonna do sample my, so let's do DEF sample function, okay? And we're gonna do colon return true with a capital T and then we're going to print sample function and the S actually needs to be lowercase okay and then we put okay and then let's close this like that and then let's run it True. Now, what if I change this to false? What's it going to do? False. Okay. So you get the idea. That's how you can run. Um, that's how you can create functions that return a Boolean value. Okay. Now, you can execute code based on the Boolean answer of a function. Okay. So for that example, we would do this, okay? We would use the same, so we can use the same function here, but we'll write it down here. So let's do define, okay? And we'll do my, let's do your function, okay? And then let's return true, okay? Return true, 
and then f your function okay then we're going to do this print yes okay and if not if it's an else state if else statement here all lowercase print no okay now I'll run that and we'll see what we get and it should be successful so when I run it we have yes okay because we return true now if we change this to false then what's going to happen well you said it it's going to return the false statement that's if I can spell false correctly but I'm bump I'm here all week so no we're gonna print no because it's false all right so I'll leave you there that's booleans so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video